Hello everyone, welcome back to another ship build. With the latest update came the ability to customize the ship's interior. And I gotta say, it inspired me to build new ships. So a couple of ideas came to mind and this is one of the first. I present to you the Viper, a fast, nimble ship destroyer, but with a luxurious interior. And no, it was not inspired by lobsters or crawfishes. I realize it looks like one. I'll show you guys around, give you guys an overview of the exterior, as well as a tour of the customized interior. And then at the end, I'll give you guys a tutorial to how to build this ship, if you're interested. I'll let you guys read the stats while I do a little spin of the ship. The only aspect to be aware of is that the cargo capacity went out the window. So this is light, this is nimble. There was just no way to increase cargo capacity. Besides, in my case, all my crap together is more than 10,000 in mass. So no matter what ship I build, anything that is under that is just really not gonna work for me. So I have another ship with over 20,000 in mass. So that's the ship that I usually switch to when I need to go get more things. Then I switch it back to whatever other ship I need to because the game lets you do that without losing any of your shit. Which is why with this ship, you see that I have over 10,000 out of the 450 capacity. So that's something that, you know, you can do. Another thing that I want to point out is that this is my first ship build where I used the parts glitch. I don't like to use glitch builds for two reasons. Number one, when you look close, they never look right. The merger never, it just never looks correct. And then number two, I always try to avoid using glitches so that everyone is able to follow easily and build or replicate the ships. And this is the first build that I'm using it. It is out of necessity. It is not everywhere. It's just one specific area, which is here, because this is my second favorite cockpit, but I kind of hate that neck thing that it has going on at the back. It just kind of looks weird usually to me. And in this ship, because I wanted something low profile, I have to use this glitch just to merge this part here. And it's just a little bit of overlap, not a lot, just to give it that nice slope and also kind of hide the neck situation in a way. If you do not want to use this method, there's a perfect way to have this design with a different carpet. Let's probably just do that. Uh, let me just delete this for now. And we can bring in the Stroud cockpit, which I think it looks pretty good in this situation if, you, if you're if you not like me and you don't love the, the other cockpit so much. Let's change the colors. And this actually looks pretty good. And we can move maybe these two uh, things to the front. And I gotta tell you, this is actually quite a good look. We can probably put another structure in between there, like a, maybe a fuel tank or something like that, you know, just to create something else in here so it's not so empty. And I gotta tell you, this is still a good look and you can do a couple of other things as well. You can maybe even move this further to the front and uh, put something else in between. So you have that option as well. I just like the other cockpit more. Other than that, I think we can go take a look at the interior and then we do the build. Another thing about this build is that I put the landing bay quite far back. So there's quite a bit of a, a walking to get to the ship. And I'll show you why now when we go inside. So as we come in inside this hub, this is a two by one. It's an empty one, one of the new empty ones. And I believe this is the computer core. But what I did basically is put the landing bay and the docker all in one place. Uh, they are kind of annoying, but you need them. And I just decided to, you know what, let's just use one hub just for those two things. And what I ended up doing here is making this hub like a, some kind of like a museum gallery type of situation. And yeah, it kind of doesn't make sense. Maybe where's my helmet? 
I lost the helmet. What the hell? Okay, never mind. Let, let's just get back. I think I think it disappeared. This was inspired by another YouTuber. I saw the guy. He actually used a three by one and turned it into kind of this gallery type of thing. And it looked great. And I thought, okay, let's do that here. Kind of works, kind of doesn't, but it was one of those make the best out of a bad situation, you know? And uh, I wanted this ship to be just one layer, no ladders and things like that. So this was it. And I think it's not bad. It's decent. We did this kind of walk path with rugs and I kind of went all the way. And then I have, this is kind of probably one of my favorite places. This is a three by two cargo hold. I correct that this is a two by three because there is a three by two. This is the two by three. So when I first saw this empty, I thought, wow, it's huge. There's so much space. I can do so much. Once I started to, to add decorate things, you realize that you run out of space pretty quickly. There's a little bit of everything. There's kind of this bar area with a gaming table. And yes, we had a discussion about put tables inside a ship. Technically, it is possible because the ship has its own gravity. So no matter where it is, in what direction in space, it's always going to be flat, actually. The only time that this wouldn't work is when it goes into the atmosphere of a planet with its own gravity, then you will not be able to play pool at that time. But once it lands, then everything goes back to flat. So yeah, we had a discussion of that in case you were wondering. And then there is kind of this conference area. The chairs are new. And if you want to know everything that's new with the latest update. I have already a video covering that. I put the link in the description. Another sitting area here. So there's a lot of places for crews to sit, to chill. And there is also this kind of dining area with the kitchen and things like that. I wish we had a higher end, nicer looking kitchen and also refrigerator. But anyway, so that, that's what I got. And this is kind of like a bar area. It's just basically some, um, what is it called? Just uh, some cabinets. And I do realize that those cabinets there, now you cannot open them, but yeah, whatever. So I just kind of made this into a bar area. And this is something that I always wanted to do. I wanted to have some sitting area, but around a porthole on the, on the floor. So you can see down when you're in space. Pretty happy with that. This is actually a great canvas, uh, the three by two or the two by three empty ones, a great canvas for you to just decorate. My design language has been minimalistic in my interior, so there's not a lot of crap. And uh, yeah, there you go, that's, that's it. Now here, this is uh, the same empty one that I used for the gallery. So I used it again here for a control station. And basically just a bunch of computers, screens, and things like that. And uh, the whole pathway thing kind of continues all the way. Yeah, this is a cool place. I like it. Then we have two wings, one on each side. And in each of the wings, I just plastered it with posters. I think we got some new posters in the last update. Like I did not run out after doing all of this. Let's go to the first area, the first wing. This is a one by one. This is a companion way and I turn it into another sitting place. We have windows. We have another window facing the front. I really like this, like an area to sit, maybe to eat, whatever. And, but you can still look out and that's the front and that's the back. So now we come up here. This is the, oh, this is the captain's quarters. It is actually a, just a regular two by one control station. It's actually the same hub that I use in the middle for the control station. I decorated, made it into a uh, captain's quarters with some tables, some chairs. Those are also new chairs and uh, a bed here with a desk, another new desk that we got in the latest update and a city area and the windows on the side. Really, really, really like the windows on the side of the bed. So this was pretty nice. And I also have a gun here, like a true captain, like a true psycho captain. And just on a side note, I noticed that this hub 
still has a little bit of uh, unremoved texture, like whatever this is, you see the two dots there with the number one, with the number two. And then there's another one down here, right by the edge of the couch. So those are like texture that they were not removed from the standard apps. And I am not running the beta version. This is the final update here. So I'm worried that when they fix it, it might cause some of my furniture maybe to disappear or whatnot. I don't know. So if you use this app, just be aware of that. We don't know how, you know, how, how things could go. Uh, so, so decorate at your own risk if you use this app. All right. So let's just go to the other side. Oh my God. Move, move, move. Come on, let's go. Uh, there's another one. Why they stand here? Why they stand here? Can't get through. Like, come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. I did the same. This is another one by one. And I did exactly the same as on the other side. So the chairs, tables, everything is the same. And finally, we have, this is the only one birth. And I kept this one, the standard one. I just added a few decorations here and there and the support hole here. The reason why I didn't do another empty one is with the all-in-one berth, when you do the empty ones, they also remove the bedding. So, you know, no more blankets, no, no more pillows, none of that. And it just doesn't look good. Uh, and there is no way for us to add those elements, at least not yet. So that's why I kind of just left it as the standard one and just added some seating area, some rugs and, and things like that. So yeah, so that is it. And yes, there are no workbenches or, or any, any things like that, like a crafting stations, because I tried them and they just don't look good with the overall luxurious design. Originally, I was planning to put workbenches in one area here in the control station, but they just didn't look good at all. So and I, I don't think I'm going to be doing much of upgradings in this game anymore at this point. If I do anything, I can use another ship or just do it at the outpost. There you have it. That has been the interior. All right, let's go do the building part of putting this whole thing together. Before we begin, please like, subscribe, help me with your support. I never send out notifications when I upload, so you're never going to get interruptions from this channel. That is my promise. With that out of the way, I'm going to put here the shopping list of some of the unique parts that you have to go specifically to those locations to get them. Grab whatever ship that you're going to use to build this on top of it and replace those specific categories with those parts. Then I would suggest go back to your own outpost, your own large landing pad, and I do the building there because we're grabbing a lot of common items from different vendors. So you want to have everything basically in one place. All right. So I have the ship separated into different sections, different areas. I know it looks kind of messy right now, but don't worry. I'm going to guide you through step by step and it should be pretty easy because we don't have a lot of parts. So we're going to start with this one here right in the middle. So don't worry about everything else around us. So let's just go here. Let's just start with the big hub. So you're going to grab one of the big hubs. This is a two by three and it is the cargo hole. If you want that nice open space, then get this one. Otherwise, if you want some division, then you can get the mess hole. The mess hole, I think, has a little bit more walls, a little bit of a division. Then at the top, we have this. This is a structure. This is the straw cap C. It just goes on top of it. This is a Deimos calling another structure. This is just goes attached to this one. Two more structures on the side. This is the straw engine mount. You have different variants. So if you flip them, you have different variants. And I went with this one. So that goes on top and it is attached to this thing. This is the Hope Tech pipes reversed flip. And the same thing on the other side. I also put two wings here, one on each side, a couple of windows. And below there, we have the landing gear. This is the Hope 5, and it is attached to this area here. 
So we're leaving kind of this area empty for the next. So just that's the only thing that you have to know that everything sits forward from the hub. And then finally, we have the landing bay here at the back. Also, it sits not flash with the hub. So just, just be aware of that. Then next to that, we have some helium tanks. These are just smaller helium tanks just to kind of complement the larger helium tanks that I'm in the other section. So that is for this area. So it's not a lot going on. And then we have here the tail. This is a one by one. I'm oh, sorry, this is not a one by one. This is the docker. This is the Deimos docker. Is the one that faces down. Uh, I believe you can flip it, right? Can you? No, you cannot be flip. Oh yeah, you can flip it. So up or down. So this is the one and I flip it down. Next to that, we have two Nova radiators. Those are structure. Behind that, there is a Stroud engine bracer, another structure. And this is the SF40, the reactor. And the reactor comes up uh, to the top. Then we also have two landing gears. These are, these are actually the same one, just different variants. So these are the pinpoint three Gs. And this one is the regular one that you're gonna see in the menu. This is the one that you switch to get the variant that faces to the back. So that is, that is it for the tail. One thing is when we highlight everything, it goes here, but the only thing that you have to know is that Unfortunately, this does not attach. So what links this all together is what's on the second floor. So we're gonna take a look at that now. We have a two by one hub. This is the computer core. So this is the one that I've used where it is a two by one, but everything empty, no walls, no division, no nothing, just fully open space. So this is the one that I use. I have two helium tanks, the 600T, one on each side. Behind that, there is the Hope Tech radiator. And behind that is the White Dwarf 3015 engine, the one that has 130 top speed. Same thing on the other side. At the top, I use the Aura 12G drive drive. I did not use a bigger, larger drive drive. I think this is enough for the, for the jump wrench anyway. I also use the Vanguard shell generator, mostly because of the weight. And then behind that, we have a Deimos belly. And all of that is just attached to each other. And we're going to now grab it. And I don't think I'll be able to move it in. So I'm going to have to move this aside, highlight this again. And now this clicks. Perfect. So now all that clicks. Now we can grab the tail, move it in and now everything it will link and now everything links so we have that part done set up we have another connection here in the middle this is the computer core which we actually turn into a computer core and what we have is a two by one hub this is a structure a demo spine two more structures the nova braking engine on each side this is the nova cross passage I used the Nova cross passage instead of the Hope cross brace, I think it's called, mostly because of the weight reduction. This is much lower weight than the one from Hope Tech. And then below we have some more structures. This is the tire braking engine and then another Deimos belly, but this is at the bottom. And we can grab that and shove it in, in between. So that's where it goes. So the, that space that we left, before is for the cross passage and then just grab the cockpit and we move it there so now what we have left is this one which we're gonna use the glitch to get it in there so it's pretty easy so so what you're going to do is you're going to grab the the item you want we're gonna bring it here it's going to be red i am still holding the left mouse button i am not letting it go and while holding it, I'm going to change variants and I'm going to change it. You can change it a couple of times. I think once is enough. Just go back to the same one that you want. I am still holding the left button. And what I'm going to do now is hit escape. And yeah, it will now let go of the mouse click and it just stays there. So we could do the same with the other side. I'm going to remove the, the weapon and we're going to bring it in. Still holding the mouse button. 
we're gonna go one to another variant come back to the variant we want still holding the mouse button i hit the escape key and then you can let go of the mouse button and it stays there so not too difficult to glitch parting i know that there are other ways to do it i haven't tried other ways this is the one that i've been using you know for this build so and then we can just pop in the weapons talking about the weapons let's actually yeah let me tell you what i'm using so i have the exterminators the 95 mev helium beams then i also have the pbo 300 auto alphas and then the pbo 175 auto helium beams i like these weapons because of the range they have massive range all of them all three of them and they are pretty quick at firing i think 2.5 is the slowest one all the other ones are four and six and they do very good decent damage so that's why i'm using these weapons uh, i also have these ones these are the nova thrusters these are also structures i just have them here on the inside so it doesn't look so empty i just wanted to put something more there so here the wings so it's just a one by one with a structure at the top the radiator two port holes front back and then a two by one this is the computer core again that i've been using here and inside there but i turn into a captain's quarters then the remaining engines here at the back and more windows around at the top i have here this is a hope tech pipe this is just to hold the weapon mount and then another weapon mount goes below there then here is the nova calling another structure and that is it nothing underneath you can just grab the whole thing this will link with a nova cross passage so that goes in there and the other side is just exactly the same reverse the only difference is that i have a port hole below for the only one berth uh, the crew area basically and this goes in and that is it so there you have it. Let me know what you guys think. If there is a type of ship or some kind of interior style that you would like to see me build, let me know in the comments. Other than that, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy the game. Have fun. And I'll see you all in the next video.